guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing us on how to design a e-style flyer because this style is coming soon so without wasting our time let's get started but before that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video this the can this the flyer so these are the these are the assets we are going to be using these are the assets we are going to the first thing we are going to do come to our file then come to new when you click on new you just select change to inches five inches by five inches then resolution 300 white then it create so to bring us somewhere like this so the first thing i'm going to be doing you're going to be working on our background first so this is the background we're going to be using i'm going to drag it to this place and now increase it very big like this so the next thing i'm going to just try and blow the background go to filter blow the question blow and put use 25 figures 25 it's okay then i'll go to filter camera roll i just want to work on the camera a little bit i just want to work on you and the sharpness just increased it's like this then the texture increase the texture a little bit it's okay so and these are these are to give us so the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to, let me close this. I'll come to this file, this place here. I'll just drag, uh, I'll just drag this. Sorry about that. i just drag this. I'll just drag this background to this place. I'll drag it so that it can fit in the place. Yeah, you can see it's aligned left and right. It's okay. Then I'll go to filter camera rust you camera rust you that's open first of all convert it to black and white now increase the contrast a little bit it can be more darker than the highlight reduce it then increase reduce the black it's okay so it will give you something like this they will change the blend mode to screen or you can just play around scream soft light then and uh, soft light i think soft light is much more better i eat okay so the next thing is the write up I already type it out so i just copy this boat or copy the boat ctrl c ctrl c then now come to this place or paste it ctrl v it okay then the spacing in between is much so i just reduce the spacing in between so it will give us something like this or increase the font uh, size to 8 8 I think I love how it's very very simple like this so can I just play around though let's try and increase this the name of the church or the crew let me increase it a little bit like this I think this one is okay then I can bold in it a little bit. Maybe I should just use bold. Yeah, bold. I think it's much more better. Press Z, then I'll zoom out to page. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to this. Okay, this, I, I was able to get this on Cinema 4D. I'm still trying to learn the software new. So, but if you want to tutorial on that, I think I can provide it to you on that. But if you want it to tutorial on that, you can just put on the comment section, I need, I need it, I need it. Just type it, I need it. Then we'll see how it goes. So 
we're going to remove this black this black background so we just come to these tools here magic wood hand tools just select it then press ctrl x to cut out automatically all the unnecessary parts so you can see how it goes so this place has to come out so ctrl x same with this ctrl x you can just watch around anywhere you see that it's supposed to come out let's zoom out so like this though there are some errors here well don't mind the design you you won't know after the design you won't notice it so yeah we're just going to uh, align or arrange it so the first thing i'm going to do i first reduce it because it's kind of too big and let me just increase it back like this that's the first thing it's okay so i'm going to be putting shadow on it so that it can look where do i push shadow i'll create a new layer and i create a new layer i'll go to my brush tool or you just press b on your keyboard or increase it by say semi um colon ab just click sorry it's not the the you can see the effect is kind of slow it low so i can I'll just increase the opacity here so i'll increase, um, click on it like this so it's not give me this so i'll just try and work on it because i just want to create shadow a lot of shadow beautiful shadow for this so just play around it just play around it like this i just increase it any how you want so i'll drag it to the down you can see you can see how it look it look as if it's staying on the ground so it may not look perfect though but i think this i love this it's much much better if i like i reduce the opacity but i think i love this i love the way it is so the next on my list is um is the tag so i'll come to my microsoft so i'll just copy the tag ctrl c go back to my photoshop i'll paste it ctrl v so i'll paste it shift it like this then i'll break the text into two break into two so so the next thing i'm going to do is to just work on this so i'll just drag or increase it let me just zoom in yeah so i'll come to my two uh, right and go for tag like this then i'll change the color to white yet because that's not the color i'm going to be using so i'll use this to round to curve the edges so the, num the next thing i'm going to do i'll just Ctrl J to duplicate, then I'll drag it down. Then I'll draw for this. It's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, the next thing I'm going to do now. I'm going to select the two. Then I'll drag it down to this place. So if I drag it down, you can see is okay like this so my next target is to change the color of this to something like orange color no this one i'll change it to orange color then this one i'll just use a gradient color which is blue can't see then i'll select my uh, text button i just select this two i'll change it to white so that it can come out nice yeah so i'll select these three things you will select these three select this three then ctrl g then i'll rename it to tag so i'll press ctrl t again just to centralize and reduce it it's too big so i'll just reduce it like so so i can still reduce it again it's kind of big because i don't want the write-up to be very very big 
So it's okay like this. Then the next thing you are going to do, come to our date. Just select this date, Ctrl C. Then paste it, Ctrl V. Change the font size to 8. Change the font size to 6, sorry, or 8. Then the spacing, can just give it a lot of spacing. Like so. So I can just select these three, these two, yeah. Then I'll add this by one so that I can centralize all of them. Centralize them like this. So it's now centralized. So the next thing I'm going to do here is just to add some effects to this. We are almost done. This is the number one effect we are going to add. Add this cloud to it to make it look more real. So add the cloud to this place like so. Like this. So that it can look more real. So I can change the blend modes to screen. So it, it looks beautiful. Then I'll duplicate it again. To this place. Yeah, something like this. Then I'll duplicate the third time to this place. You can see how it is. Then the next one, I'm going to use this cloud again. Use this cloud like this. But like this. So I'm going to add screen, but I'll reduce the opacity. So you can see how it is. Yes, you can see how it is. Please make sure you are following the steps. Don't miss any steps. So the next thing I'm going to use a saxophone. So I'm going to drag the sax here. Sorry. I'm going to drag it like this. Drag it like this. So I just go add my shadow and out convert it to black and white so i already add it here so just add your shadow black and white so as easy as this so i'll just duplicate it right, duplicate it then i'll turn it about a horizontal like this it's okay so that's how it is it's okay so the last but not the least is just to add some light effect on it. So to do that, to do that. But before that, let me just group all this uh, uh, cloud and the rest. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to add the lightning to it. So uh, some lightning to it. I just click on this. Then I'll press B on my keyboard, which is brush. So I'll just flash on any place. Then I'll come to my screen. So I'll just try and work on it so that it can be it can be fine. So I'll just drag drag it again. Like to look as if light is coming from them. So the last but not the least is this. I just play, press Control Shift Alt, Control Shift Alt E. So it will automatically export the work. Then I'll come to my filter, then Camera Raw. Come to Camera Raw, then Contrast, Contrast, then Black and White. I'll reduce the black a little bit. Then I'll increase the texture because I want people to see the stature of the work then the way trans I'll increase it a little bit so that it can bo be boost the colors can boost so the next thing I'm going to do I'll come to my details add some more sharpening to it like 11 percent then my effect I'll add some green to it then reduce this how it's okay yeah that's it that's it as simple as that so if you know you love the tutorial please don't forget to click 
and the like button. And if you're any subscriber, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye.